Let's head to Israel now. A new warning from the military chief that the war against Hamas will not end anytime soon. Today, the war's toll came into stark view as Israel steps up its bombing in a side of Gaza. Josh Letterman has more. Tonight, as Israel warns the war with Hamas will go on for many more months, the world is getting a closer look at the scope of destruction wrought by more than 80 days of war. Israel's military saying it's expanding operations in the refugee camps of central Gaza, where the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says at least 70 were killed on Christmas Eve. And in southern Gaza, where today volunteers carried out a grim task in Gaza's sandy earth. They dug a mass grave and laid to rest 80 Palestinians. Whether they were Hamas terrorists, innocent civilians, or a mix of both is unknown. But each shiny blue bag is a life cut short. The bodies collected by Israeli forces during the ground war and returned today to Gaza. Just 25 miles north, this is what's left of Beit Hanun, the first city bombed when Israel began retaliating for Hamas's October 7th terror attacks. This video was shot from a horse-drawn cart, showing an endless wasteland. Mohammed's mom was killed when their house was bombed. His dad is missing. At 13, the lives of his seven siblings are now in his hands. I don't know how to deal with this, he says, but I know how to make my sister's milk. I change her. She hardly drinks the milk. Despite intense global pressure to scale back the war, Prime Minister Netanyahu is vowing to stay the course. His military chief of staff saying there are no shortcuts to dismantling a terrorist group. But the U.S. and Israel are at odds over whether Israel should control Gaza security indefinitely. Tonight, a top Netanyahu advisor is in Washington for meetings with top U.S. officials, working to hammer out those differences with Israel's closest ally. All right, Josh Letterman joins us tonight from Tel Aviv. Josh, there was an explosion near Israel's embassy in New Delhi. What do we know about that? Well, Israel's National Security Council says it was a potential terror attack. And while no one was injured, with tensions so high over this war globally, Israel is warning its citizens to be on high alert. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.